Hey, 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 Med School Made Easy. Today we're going to talk about chylothorax. What is it and how do you diagnose it? Um, this is a uh, collection of lymphatic fluid. Chyle means uh, lymphatic. Uh, this would be like you're doing your thoracic case and you bang into the thoracic duct, um, or you're doing your uh, you know, superclavicular cut down type deal and you get into some milky fluid. Um, so, first things first, one way you know that if this is lymphatic fluid or not is by its character and color. People say the lymphatic fluid is milky white. Uh, next thing is you want to send this fluid to your lab for analysis to cytology and, and, uh, and pathology. You're going to want to see a pH that's actually pretty normal. 7.4 to 7.8 is going to be consistent with Kyle. So whereas, uh, you know, like your uh, empyema fluid or, or your abscess or something like that, it might be a lot more um, acidic than that. Um, next, you're going to send it, um, you know, for cytology, which you're going to see a predominance of lymphocytes, which makes sense because it's lymphatic fluid. Uh, you can send it for certain stains. The stain that's talked about a lot is Sudan 3. And that stain's positive for fat, so you'd see a lot of fats in your chylothorax, and so it's positive on, uh, on uh, Sudan 3. And then lastly, and this is the numbers that I think most people probably care about, are your triglycerides. And your cholesterol. And so for your trigs, um, sorry, cholesterol too. This is that fatty fluid, and so you're gonna see um, greater than 110. And the measurements for this is gonna be milligrams per deciliter. Um, cholesterol, on the other hand, you actually want to see it less than 200, same, same units there, milligrams per deciliter. So um, usually based on just your clinical exam of the fluid, their clinical history, and then sending it for a triglyceride count, which is what most people would do, you would diagnose a chylothorax. But if you really want to get into the weeds or the academia of it, these are some other things you could do, like a Sudan 3 stain, which I've honestly never seen in practice, but they talk about it. So chylothorax, med school made easy.